and John Ganey of the Paulist Fathers, and you're watching Psalm Sense. I don't imagine too many of you know who Wilton Gregory is, but he is the Archbishop of Washington. And just a few weeks ago, Pope Francis reached across the ocean and nominated him as a cardinal, became the first African-American Catholic to become a cardinal of our church. It's a wonderful gift that has been given to him and to all African-American black Catholics. I was a pastor in Memphis of an African-American black Catholic church and the people there willingly accepted this white pastor, helping me to understand better, not only the joy, but also the pain of being an African-American Catholic in the United States. There was much celebration then, I'm sure, at the church and I celebrated with them and I look forward to the time when Archbishop Gregory will be able to go to Rome and receive his nomination from the Pope in a prayerful seminar a ceremony in St. Peter's Square. But whether he goes or not because of the pandemic, the thing is that all of us can celebrate Cardinal Gregory in a way that he would understand and appreciate. And it begins, at least it does for us today, in Psalm 146. And it begins, oddly enough, with an hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, because that's what our African-American Catholics love to do. And the words go on this way. My soul gives praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my life. Sing praise to God while I live. Blessed is he who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made the heavens and the earth, the seas and all they contain, who preserves fidelity forever, who does justice to those who are oppressed. So to the new Wilton, Cardinal Gregory, we say congratulations. And we join with all our brothers and sisters, African-American black Catholics, and say with them, Alleluia. Praise God. Amen.